Hey, what up, homeboy? Hey. Whoa, homegirl. Okay. Alrighty, boys. We've made it to the NCR embassy at the uh, on the strip. So let's see if we can talk to somebody and uh, and figure out how to help these guys defeat the the Legion and shit. Cause uh, we know shit's about to go down. So we we gotta we gotta we gotta get some help. Hey, wh whoa, hello. What's up? Welcome to the NCR Embassy. How can I help you? Where's the ambassador, girl? Tell me where you at. Ambassador Crocker can be found in his office through the door to my right and at the end of the hall. Well, tell me about yourself. I don't give a shit about him right now. I don't have time to give my life story to everyone that passes through. Is there something I can actually help you with? Jesus, playing hard to get. Okay, lady. All right, let's go talk to the ambassador and uh, I'll be back for you later. Yeah, you type away, girl. Show me what you can do with those fingers. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Hey, hey, you're the ambassador, what's up? I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. We've made great strides, sure, but the NCR is not welcome here, merely tolerated. And even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? Yeah, it's a fucking shithole where little kids chase rats for dinner. It's awful, man. Violence is something of a way of life there but there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place, the Kings. Our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a king named Pacer. The consensus is that the violence will stop if he's removed. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. All right, I'll do my best, man. Okay, boys, seems like we got a plan. So I met the king already, and uh, he seemed like a chill dude, I guess. So we'll talk to him first and see if he can, uh, you know, alleviate some of this tension. But uh, yeah, let's head out. See you later, sugar tits. We'll be back later. Hey, hey, what's up, king? All right, homeboy, I need you to stop violence against the NCR. It's got to stop right here, right now. I'd like to help you out, especially considering all you've done. But that's a pretty big favor you're asking for. And you've already used yours. Oh, God damn it. I was going to try to talk to him, but it didn't work. Shit. What? What's going on? Hey. Hey. Just minding my own business walking down the street. Fuck you. I can stay still. There you go, asshole motherfucker. Whoa. What's up, fuckboy? Drugs are everywhere in Freeside. And even people you might not expect have become addicts. That King Pacer is a fan of Jet, too. Though I heard one of the followers talking about it being dangerous for him. Something about his heart. Oh, hey, I got an idea. Hey, why don't we overdose Pacer since he's an addict? Sounds good. Can I stick the needle in his ass? No, Bobby, you can't. Okay, well, let's, come on. Let's just go figure this out, boys. Come on. Hey, wake up, homeboy. I got shit to tell you. The king won't deal with the NCR because he's an asshole. That's most unfortunate. In this circumstance, I've been instructed to send you along to Colonel Moore over at Hoover Dam for further orders. The colonel will likely send you back to Freeside with a squad of armed men. So I guess the overdose plan is out of the question because now he just told me to meet with Colonel Moore or some shit and bring men to go take him out, I guess. Wait, so I don't get to stick a needle in anyone's ass? No, Bobby, there are no needles in asses. Now chill out. Look, I'm tired of all this fucking running around. I'm just gonna take care of it myself. Hey, you're Pacer, right? You crossed the keys. You Okay. I'll make this quick. Wait a minute. Oh, everyone's gonna be so pissed at me. Oh, we don't piss them all off. Oh! Okay, we gotta leave. We gotta leave right now. Move, bitch. Okay. All right, boys. Boys. Whoa! What the fuck? Whoa! Hey! Tell your dog to chill out. <laughs> we gotta run, boys. We gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta run. I'm just going in circles. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Fuck off, King. Who? Oh. Move your dog. Oh. Sorry, Rex. Oh. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. Oh. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. Everyone's fucking dead. Oh, this went south. Oh. Oh. oh leave me alone, you assholes. Fucking asshole. Whoa! Holy fuck! Jesus Christ, boys! I'm pretty sure everybody in Freeside fucking hates me now, but whatever. I I, I gotta do this shit for the NCR. They can suck my ass. Oh sweet! Can I suck your ass too? No, Bobby. No, it's it's a metaphor. Jesus. Hey man, you better appreciate all the shit I went through. I trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation. Uh, yeah. We almost got our dicks blown off trying to get out of here. Oh fuck yes. Shut up, Bobby. The kings are up in arms. The entire area is gripped by chaos and the violence has only increased. Look, man, I know I screwed up and I know the NCR is in trouble and shit. I, I Look, I'm sorry, man. Still, there's nothing to be done about it now. 
Maybe the violence will die down once things settle. Well, we totally fucked that up, but whatever. We got the job done. Pacer's dead, and that's all that matters. So let's go talk to Colonel Moore at Hoover Dam and uh, see what we got to do next. Alrighty, boys. Shouldn't be too, too much further to, uh, to Hoover Dam. Should be around here somewhere. I've never been to Hoover Dam before, so I'm fucking excited, man. Oh, looky there. It's just right up this hill, boys. Whoa. Holy shit, that is awesome. Man, that thing is massive. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh shit, look at that big ass gun. Oh man, yo, this place is pimping. Hey yo, what's up? Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports about the savior of the NCR for a while now and wanted to meet you myself. Since the majority of my men are on assignment dealing with the Legion, I need someone to handle other matters that have arisen. We've had some disturbing reports recently concerning the Omertas, one of the three families that run the Strip. Our intelligence has discovered that high-ranking members of the Omertas have been having clandestine meetings for the past several months. We haven't been able to determine whom they've been meeting with, but if it's Caesar's men, we'll need to act. I need you to uncover what they're up to and stop it if it threatens the NCR. Liza O'Malley at the Embassy may have some information for you as well. Oh, sweet. I love Liza. She's super nice and super cute. She's banging. All right, guys. Let's head over back to the uh, strip, and then we'll go uh, We'll see what's going on with the Omertas. Welcome back. What can I do for you this time? Well, what I really want is for you to take off. Uh, uh, Moore sent me uh, to talk to you about the Omertas. I received word you may be coming. We helped the receptionist over at Gamora with some thugs that were taking advantage of her. Go talk to her. She'll be able to point you in the right direction. All right. Thanks, homegirl. Hello, and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? All right, girl. I need you to tell me what the Omertas are up to. All I can tell you is to find Kachino. He's the lowest level lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. Some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business the family wouldn't really like. Ask him about it. All right, let's see if we can find this asshole. I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? Hey, good to see you. Nice greeting, man. Thanks. I hear you've been dealing with some business that is off limits to the Emerita family, so you better tell me what the fuck is going on, you bald fuck. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. You know, we could beat the shit out of him and get information, but I think I'm gonna play this safe route and use my, uh, my stealth boy. I'm invisible. I'm going in. Take this fucking journal. Oh, hell yeah, I got his shit. Oh my god, is that Lee? Bobby, oh I'm no. right here. Oh no, does anyone see my friend? Bobby, I just used a stealth boy. I'm right here, just just calm down. Jesus Christ, can someone tell me where the fuck my friend is? I can hear him, but I can't fucking see him. Oh wait, there you are. Oh my god, oh, Jesus Christ. You again, what the fuck do you want? Chill out, homeboy. Found this ledger that proves some of your sad business, so you have been up to shit. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning, maybe save some lives. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. All right, tell me about this Troik fuckboy. He has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the strip. Hey, you're the Troik asshole. What's up? Look, the bosses are planning something, and me and Kachino are going to break up what's going on. So just give me some info, man. Okay, I'll help you. But I'm getting the hell out of here first chance I get. All right, so what do you have to tell me about the guns? They're keeping them in a little utility section down off the basement. As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Thermite burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. I've been keeping it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. Here's the thermite and a key to the room where the guns are stored. All right, boys, let's go find this shipment of guns and blow it the fuck up. Yo, is this it? All right, we got to destroy all this shit, huh? So now we just got to flip that light switch and then we'll be good to go, right? All right, you guys ready for the fireworks? Hell yeah. All right, let's do it. Whoa! Sweet Lord Jesus. Holy fuck. All right, boss, all the guns are destroyed. Solid work. That ought to gum up the boss's plans. All right, what's the next step, man? Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. As long as they're alive, they can start up their plans again. All you've managed to do is stall them. There isn't going to be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. I'll slip you a gun, and we can take them out. All right, let's take care of them, man. Oh, shit is going down, boys. You're about to destroy these assholes. Oh, it's about to go down. Oh, God, here we go. Hey, here's that gun I promised you. I suggest using it while they are talking. Whoa! Whoa! 
What the fuck, dude? Oh my god. Did you guys see that? This dude's some netherworld, otherworldly, otherworldly, otherworldly shit. What the fuck, dude? I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm freaking out. What is with you guys' heads? Why are you all freaking out on me? Jesus. You guys are creeping me out. Well, you've been a real thorn in my side. You've got business plans. You set us back a little bit, I'll admit that. However, we wanted you to know that nothing you did made a ship bit of difference. And you're going to die a fit. Yeah, I'm not the one dying fuck, boy. You are. Whoa! Ugh! Come on! All right, motherfucker. Get ready to suck on this. Oh! Get fucked, Nero! Holy shit! Woo! All right, Big Sal, I got something for you too, boy. Oh! Oh, 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 I missed! How did I miss? I was right in front of you! Oh! All right, later, homeboy. Thanks for your help taking out those assholes. I thought you looked a little different. You're not a girl. Enjoying the show? Oh, I know I am. Bobby, no, we're not here for this. Yes, I am. Holy shit! Shake it, big boy! Bo Bobby, no. Seriously, okay, look, I know you think he's attractive and all, but we are not here for this. We got shit we gotta do, okay? You go on ahead. Just give me a few minutes with this man meat here. All right, boys, let's go back to the colonel and report uh, that we uh, that we dealt with the Omertas. Hey, yo, what up, girl? Have you discovered what the Omertas are up to? They were up to something big, but uh, me and my homeboys stopped them. Excellent, but we have other problems. While investigating the Omertas, what little I could on my end, I came across something much more sinister. Evidence suggests that Mr. House is planning to make some kind of move when the battle breaks out, and I'm guessing he won't be coming to our rescue. I'm sending you to take Mr. House out of the equation. Oh, shit. Well, goddamn, boys. Not only do we just take out the Omerta bosses, but now we have to fucking deal with Mr. House? Who's like, he's like one of the most powerful dudes in Vegas. So, uh, yeah. We got our work cut out for us. This is gonna be... This is gonna be fun. Here with you now. Here with you now. Bitch!